friends and welcome back to my channel. Today let's talk about everything that I would add to my baby registry for baby number two when the time comes. Now everything on my list are things that I used and loved with Deacon and that I plan to use again with baby number two. As a first time mom, I bought so many things the first time around. Of course, everyone should so that you can get a feel of what you like. So starting off strong at the top of my list is the Nanit Pro baby monitor. We ended up trying and using multiple different baby monitors and the Nanit Pro ended up being my favorite in all categories. Now pretty much every mom has anxiety when their baby and toddler is sleeping. So the Nanit Pro actually gave me so much peace of mind because I'm able to watch my son whenever he's sleeping and make sure that he's okay. Now one thing I love about the Nanit Pro is that you have the option to use the floor mount or you can also mount it to the wall. But I use the floor mount and it's right in the middle of the bed and it gives you the whole view of your bed and it's amazing quality and I just love it. It also has a belly band that you can put around your baby or toddler that tracks their breathing and it just puts your mind at ease knowing that your baby is breathing and sleeping fine while you are in a different room. And it also has two-way audio. So not only can you hear them from the room that they're sleeping in, you can also speak to them so that they can hear you. That way, if you need to like soothe them for a second, you can speak to them. Or if you have a toddler like me and they're doing something in their crib that they shouldn't be, I can speak to him through my phone and just tell him, you know, don't do that or I could see you. <laughs> Honestly, that is one of my favorite features and I love that it comes with that so that whenever the time comes and I need to say something to him on the other side, I can do that. It also tracks your kids' sleeping patterns and it can give you some sleeping tips based off of the data that it gets from how they are sleeping, which I love because you never know how much sleep they are actually getting and what the best time is to put them down in bed. So it just gives you all of that information and I think that is so cool because not only is it a monitor, it's like your little buddy that offers you sleep tips for your baby. And as a mom, you need all the help you can get. At least I did. Now the other top item that I will definitely be adding to my registry for the second baby is a sound machine, specifically the Nanit sound machine because it's been a godsend. We keep the sound machine right on Deacon's dresser in his bedroom and it also has a clock on it which is really nice. It's a nice little touch when you're in the middle of the night and you have no clue what time it is. I have it saved to my favorite light setting which is already on when I turn it on and this is just what it looks like and it's really cute and dainty. It literally gives us the perfect sleep. Deacon cannot go a night without it. It's our favorite item. I tried two other other sound machines and the Nana ended up being my absolute favorite. Not only is it a sound machine, it's actually a smart device that hooks up to your phone through Bluetooth. It's so cool because it can detect when your baby is crying and it doesn't pick up like other noises like the doorbell ringing or my dogs barking. So I'm not getting notified for every little sound in my house and only for the sound that I actually want to know about. And not only is it a sound machine, it also is an audio monitor. I can literally hear whatever sounds are going on in the room that I have the sound machine in, which is really cool for like traveling. And if I ever go on vacation and I bring it, I can listen to Deacon in a different room while we're on vacation and I don't have like a baby monitor with us, which I think is really cool. And one really cool thing is if you have the sound machine and the Nanit Pro monitor, you can toggle between the two. And basically you just have this duo team for the perfect sleep for your baby. Now the sound machine has different light and sound settings and you can actually pick your favorites and have a favorites list. You don't have to go through all of the settings when you want to go to your most used or your favorite sounds or lighting, which is really cute and it adds a little like personalized touch to it. Now I do have a link in my bio if you want to check out Nanit and all of the good things that they offer. I love them. I stand behind them. They're one of my favorite baby brands and I will definitely be adding those products to my baby registry for baby number two whenever the time comes, hopefully soon. A couple other top items that I will be adding to my registry for baby number two is definitely a diaper pail. It doesn't seem that crucial when they're a baby because their number twos don't smell that bad. But once they become a toddler or right around they hit the one year mark, that stuff is stinky and you don't want to throw that in just any trash can in your house because you will smell it. I love the Munchkin brand and I do have that one for Deacon so I would highly recommend that one. Another item that I would highly highly recommend and I will be adding to my registry is a diaper caddy because you are doing so many different diaper changes specifically in your bedroom throughout the night which is what I did because I had a bedside bassinet. So I had the diaper caddy right on my nightstand and it was so easy and convenient whenever I had to do nighttime changes. I just stocked it with like diaper cream, wipes, diapers, and maybe like a snack for me. 
because I'm up in the middle of the night and I get hungry. So that's definitely a top item too. Last but not least, I will be adding the Ergo Baby Baby Carrier to my registry because that one was my absolute favorite. I had so many different baby carriers when I had Deacon as a baby. That ended up being my favorite. I love the wrap ones too, but those seem to be a little bit harder to put on when you're like on the go. And the Ergo Baby one was my favorite when I was like out and about going to stores and I could just strap it on real quick and put Deacon inside it. It's also super comfortable for me and my fiance because it's adjustable sizing. So he wore it around the house whenever I wasn't around and he actually really liked wearing it. So that is my favorite one. And I will definitely be getting a new one for the next baby. So those are all of my top picks for my next baby registry. There's obviously going to be so many more items that I'm going to have on it, but those are probably my must haves top items that I definitely need. I hope you guys loved hearing about what my top items are for my next baby registry for baby number two. That is hopefully in the near future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.